non niente. Cosa faccio io? Vado a rubare? No, non posso rubare anche. Vendere posso... droga? E vendere droga, non posso anche vendere droga. Io voglio, voglio vivere con Tranquilla. dignità. We followed the migrant trail starting in Lampedusa and journeyed into the mainland. We headed to the urban center of Milan, situated near the borders of other European countries. We wanted to find out what happens to migrants trying to leave Italy and why something called the Dublin Regulation is making it hard for them to do so. So for many visitors to Italy, the idea of being stuck here forever is actually quite nice. But that's clearly not the case when it comes to migrants. For them, the moment they arrive here, it seems to be all about getting out as soon as possible because the opportunities for them here are so limited. And that explains the situation here. This park in Milan has become a temporary home for Eritreans desperate to leave the country. They have no choice but to sleep rough here while they await the opportunity to leave. Questi sono ragazzi che arrivano dal, dal nostro paese con mille problemi, arrivano da un viaggio incredibile, sarebbero da scrivere fior di libri perché attraversano deserti, eh, prigioni, devastazioni, di tutto. E quindi arrivano qua con la speranza di andare al nord, perché al nord c'è la possibilità, hanno parenti, conoscenti che gli danno una mano, gli aiutano. Quindi questa è una tappa, è un passaggio. Thanks to the Dublin regulation, hopping on a train out of here is not an option. Dopo Dublino fanno sì che chi vuole arrivare in un paese deve transitare dal nostro, è costretto a fare richiesta d'asilo in Italia, fa sì che l'Europa non è non diventa un soggetto in grado di amplificare eh, l'accoglienza, ma in realtà diventa te il territorio dove si rende la vita più difficile ai tuoi. The Dublin regulation was intended as a method to stop asylum tourism around Europe. However, this creates an uneven distribution of migrants across the continent, effectively leaving more migrants in places with fewer opportunities. So activists and protesters from all over Italy are starting to gather here on the steps in front of Milan Central Station. The plan is to board a train heading towards the Italian border in defiance of the Dublin regulation. This is my work this morning. I have asylum with my new house, I don't have a job, and I don't have a stipend of the state. I don't have anything. What do I do? Vado a rubare? No, non posso rubare anche... Vendere posso... droga? Vendere droga, non posso anche vendere droga. Io voglio, voglio vivere con dignità. Eh. La prima cosa che vogliamo dire è che Milano è diventata un po' il simbolo dell'ipocrisia delle leggi sull'immigrazione. Noi oggi andremo a Chiasso e imporremo alle autorità svizzere di recepire le nostre domande d'asilo nicola is an activist from a group known as melting pot today he's heading up the protest and leading the masses to chiasso station the first stop beyond the swiss border if you make it to the border do you think there's a chance that some of these migrants might actually get to leave italy today non lo so faremo di tutto perché possa abbandonare questo paese che non gli ha dato niente e andare dove and do all these people have train tickets? Yes. Yes? Circa 150. So now everyone's making their way towards the platform. But who knows, for some of these people, this might actually be their last time they set foot in Italy. so no one can get on the train. We're getting on the train. We're gonna beat everybody. We're gonna anything to the We boarded the train, but that didn't mean we were on our way. 
The train was delayed. The official line was that it was missing a driver. Whilst the protesters were in for the long haul, many of the other commuters didn't share their sentiment. The train is moving. We're on our way to Switzerland. I don't know what's going to happen when the doors open. Maybe there's going to be police guards waiting ready for it, but I feel like this is a small victory. Switzerland. The, the, the mood's good in here, the atmosphere's good, nobody seems nervous, they seem completely confident in what they're doing. We finally arrived at Chiasso station only to be greeted by an impressive volume of border control. The activists are now, they seem to be negotiating with the border control. And everyone is in here just looking out the window, we're like fish in a fish tank. Unable to send the train back to Milan, the border control agreed to let the passengers off the train and onto the platform. These guys mean business, these border police aren't taking any nonsense. So we're just kind of stuck here in limbo, waiting to hear what the fate of these migrants is going to be. What are your options now, tonight? Yeah, they need some people, if you want to stay in here, maybe two months or three months, and they will take you back to Italy again. Really? Yeah, and that one, yeah, like, yeah. we don't want it. So Wait. you're going to go back to Italy yeah. now? So it's really great to see so many young Italian people here. I wasn't expecting that. What are you doing here? Noi siamo qui perché purtroppo noi ci troviamo tutti i giorni a confrontarci con i problemi appunto dei migranti che varcano continuamente i confini portando questi problemi soprattutto nel suolo italiano. Dice che molte persone abbiano partecipato da tutta l'Italia soprattutto perché appunto avendo una pessima reputazione anche magari in base al nostro passato fascista Several hours passed and we were unsure if they would ever let us off the platform. But the activists weren't going anywhere. Finally, faced with no alternative, the border police drew back. So, it might seem like quite a triumphant situation. We're marching through Switzerland, but it's really not as simple as that. Most of these boys don't know what the hell they're doing tonight. They don't know if they're going to be in it, sleeping in Italy tonight, sleeping in Switzerland. They feel like if they do make a claim here, they might get it processed over three months before getting sent back to Italy. So it's definitely a bittersweet victory. Although in principle, people in this camp were free to leave, they were faced with the same old problem. Without a job or access to benefits, where can they go? We headed back on the train bound for Milan. Did any of the migrants that came with you today actually make asylum claims in Switzerland? Due le conquiste di oggi. La prima che 
tre ragazzi hanno chiesto formalmente asilo e sono accolti in una struttura in centro d'accoglienza in Svizzera. La seconda è che questa grande presenza ci ha permesso di passeggiare per le vie del centro di Chiasso e di salutare qualche nostro amico che ha proseguito il viaggio. Tutti guardavano i richiedenti asilo e altri li abbiamo salutati. The migrants who are returning on the train with us to Milan, why would they not stay in Switzerland in a holding camp and try to leave Italy? Altri ritornano in Italia perché le leggi li ingabbiano, li ingabbiano lì, eh, cercheranno di ritornare perché in questo momento Italia ha poco da offrire, per cui hanno provato questa sensazione collettiva, l'hanno fatto per altri e noi speriamo di poterlo fare con loro fra poco. Dal punto di vista legale loro hanno un permesso solo italiano. Today has felt like the longest, most exhausting day. But for the migrants that we've done it with, for them this has just been like one other minuscule part of their epic nightmarish odyssey from their home countries to try and find a better life or at least a normal life, something that we just take for granted. Back on Italian shores, the boats keep coming, the locals scramble to save them, while the ill-equipped system continues to fail them. The law of averages meant a boat was bound to land during our time on Mediterranean shores. Sure enough, late one night, it did. In this boat, there are 80 Syrians who've clubbed together and bought a boat to avoid paying smugglers. The men, women and children are led to safety by immigration authorities. The next day, all of the families had fled the center where they were brought to, knowing all too well that the Italian and EU system will leave them trapped between past and future. They decided to go their own way. Their journey had barely begun.